Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to sew a fitted fabric face mask with filter, filter pocket and removable nose wire for support. I will be showing you new hacks to make this process easy. After sewing hundreds of them, I have learned new techniques of how to sew them faster and with great quality and design. And for this project, we are going to need fabric. I like to use 100% cotton for the front layer and polycotton or muslin for the back layers. But you may use the fabric of your choice. The measurements for the fabric are on the screen. Now, if you wish to add a filter, we are going to need lightweight or medium weight interfacing or a stabilizer. I will leave you the list of the ones that you can use on my video description. Also, we are going to need elastic. If you cannot find regular elastic, you may use elastic hair ties, seamless elastic hair ties. Those are my favorites because they are very strong and soft on your ears. Elastic hair bands, elastic shoelaces, Spandex have long elastic shoelaces. And another favorite is farm yarn elastic. This one is very strong, elastic, and super soft on your ears. Also, it comes in a variety of beautiful colors. And if you wish to add no support, we're going to need pipe cleaners. We are going to need a sewing machine, sewing thread, scissors, ruler, tape ruler, preferable with measurements in inches and centimeters, a washable fabric pen, pins, clips, and the pattern. You can find the free pattern in my website, daisymultifacetica.com. There you will find nine free patterns, from extra small kids to extra large adults. And we are ready to start. But before, I want to introduce you to 3-In. If you don't have the time to sew or if you prefer to buy them, I invite you to visit 3-In.com. They offer a huge selection of non-medical fabric face masks, including the popular Sugar Skull Collection and many more. Their face masks are handmade with 100% soft very breathable comfort polyester, maintains elasticity and strength, and very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Also comes with a filter pocket and a PM2.5 filter. The elastic ear loops are adjustable and very soft on your ears. They are offering a special discount for all my fans. I'm going to leave you the link in my video description so you can take advantage of this opportunity. Go check them out. And we're going to start cutting the fabric, beginning with the front layer. We're going to take the two pieces that measure seven by seven and put them together. We're going to place the pattern on top, secure it with pins or clips, and cut it. This time I am cutting a medium size adult. Now we're going to cut the inner and back layers. These ones are also going to be the pocket. For these ones we're going to fold them in half also, we're going to fold the pattern on the line that has in the center. Make sure to place the folded side of the pattern on the folded material. Place it on top, secure it with pins or clips, and cut it. And this is how it's going to look when we are finished cutting these layers. Now we're going to cut the filter material in case you need to add a filter. We're going to put the two pieces together and still with the folded pattern, we're going to place it on top 
and cut it. Next, we're going to prepare the fabric for sewing. We're going to place the two pieces for the front layer together, right side, inside. And if we are using filter material, let's place one on top and the other one on the bottom. Secure it with pins or clips and sew on the curved area. Now, place the two pieces for the pocket and back layers together Secure it with pins and clips and sew on the curved area. This is optional. You may zigzag if your machine has that option or if you have a serger machine, you may serge it. Now turn the front layer inside out and place the back layer on top. Both layers have to have the stitches on the outside. Secure them with pins and sew on top and bottom, leaving 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter seam allowance. And like I mentioned before, this is optional. Now let's turn inside out and iron it. Then we're going to top stitch top and bottom. I'm going to top stitch top and bottom. And we're going to iron it again.
Now we're going to place the elastic. In this case, I'm going to use seamless elastic hair ties. First, we're going to fold the sides where the elastic is going to go. Follow the intermittent lines from the pattern to fold the sides for the elastic. You can make one fold or two folds. In this case, I am folding only one and hiding the ends inside the pocket. Now we are going to sew on both ends. And here we have the beautiful fabric face mask. We can leave it like this, or if you wish to add no support, I'm going to show you how to sew a pocket to insert a pipe cleaner. We only need half of a pipe cleaner, but make sure you fold the ends so it won't be pointy. Now we're going to top stitch the top, leaving one centimeter or three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure you don't sew the ends so we can insert and remove the pipe cleaner. And here we have the beautiful fabric face mask with filter, filter pocket and nose wire for support. As you can see, it was very easy to sew. If you wish to sew this face mask, I invite you to visit me on my website where you can find all of my free patterns. Download it to your device and print it actual size or letter size. And if you make this project, I invite you to visit me on Facebook or Instagram and share your pictures. I love to see all of your beautiful designs. I hope you enjoy my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.